How to use the triangle angle bisector theorem. I love saying that. It's pretty complicated to say, but it is very simple to use. So we're going to um, discuss how to use the triangle angle bisector theorem. This is for chapter 7, section 5 out of your textbooks. And this should be the second video for the um, chapter and section. Just to remind you that section chapter 7, section 5 should be up top along with the title from your textbook. Um, we are in doing video number two, and once you do your notes and you review your notes for both videos, you'll answer both video titles as your summary. Here is the triangle angle bisector theorem. If a ray bisects an angle of a triangle, so let's say that you have a triangle, and we're going to label this triangle C, A, and B. If you have a triangle, then... Um, if a ray bisects the angle of a triangle, so let's go ahead and bisect. That means we're going to cut in equal halves angle A with a ray. So these two parts are going to be equal to each other for the angles. And the intersection point we'll call D. Then it divides the opposite sides into two segments that are proportional to the other two sides of the triangle. So which sides are we talking about? We're talking that CD over DB. So CD over DB is the same exact thing as CA. It's the same thing as CA over BA. So those sides are now proportional to each other just because this ray right here bisected the angle A. Let's go and apply this theorem to some problems. Okay, let's go and apply the triangle angle bisector theorem. Here are two figures for you to copy down along with the directions. Find the value of x in the following figures. So go ahead and write down and draw everything on the screen. And then attempt the problems by applying the triangle angle bisector theorem. And then check your answers with mine once you're done. Okay, go ahead and check your answers. For the first one, you should have got x equals 9.6. And the second example should have been x equals 40. Let's go ahead and take a look at what I did. I went ahead and color coded the sides that are proportional to the other two sides. So we would do x over 5 is equal, to, excuse me, 8 over 5 is equal to x over 6. And then you solve by cross multiplying. So x equals 9.6. And here, this one's a little bit tricky. This whole length is 10. So then this side would be the x subtracted by 10. So, uh, so you know what? Actually, I made a mistake. It should not be 10 minus x or x minus 10. It should be um, 10 minus x, right? Because the whole side is 10, and if you subtract x, you get this leftover side. So this is going to change slightly. Instead, the x should be negative, and the 10 should be positive. So I would end up getting negative 8x plus 80x. This would be a, still a positive 80x. I would add um, 8x to both sides, so I would get 14x. Okay, and then after that, divide both sides. Then once you divide both sides by 14, x should equal about 5.7. Okay, go ahead and double check your work that you already had down. Make sure you get everything written down off of this screen and bring your questions to class.